Hello ladies, my name is Tracy and I'm a craftaholic. No, seriously, I've been asked a few times why I don't do the sort of the motion videos. Um, I find this a little daunting, so please be kind. Um, I thought what I'd do as a starter was just do a, a, a little chat about um, and then a small demonstration uh, on how I put my stick pins together. Um, I would like to talk about these, which are some of my vintage hat pins. Um, I just wanted to show them to you. Uh, I mean, they, they, they range from this one, which is quite elaborate really, there's a lot, a lot of work gone into that with sequins, um, to this one which is a, a kind of a pearlized handle with a brass cap um, on a brass pin. Then I have this one, which is a, a large pearlized bead on a steel pit, uh, shaft with a, a brass cap. They tended to, to range, I mean, they were fairly plain, a lot of the the original hat pins, I mean this one is, is quite substantial, it's got a very very strong pin on on it um, with a small decoration on the top of it. Um, and then there's this one which is like a, a wrapped cord around a, a cone shape. Um, to just a blue three bead graduated three bead. Then there are these which are teardrop shaped beads again uh, mostly on steel shafts there is a, a brass one there. Uh, this one which is a crystal on the top which is one of the more elaborate I've got and I think one of the newer ones although it is vintage I think this is actually one of the newer ones. Um, then I have these which were pretty standard, the metal ones were, were a pretty standard style with uh, either a ball top, um, a thistle top or just a, a decorated um, ball. Then I come down to the smaller ones which are hat pins but I suppose you could use them as, as collar pins as well. There's this one, this one's in quite bad condition. It's quite well rusted that one. Um, to these which again although they could be used as hat pins I, I would have said that they would have been more likely to have been used as some sort of a decoration or a, or a collar pin. They all have a, a small glass stone in and they're all on brass brass stems. So those were the smaller ones. Then, which I can't pick up. Then I have this one. This is actually a gold one with an inset pearl. So that's probably my most expensive one now. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's got. I suppose it's to stop it falling out. But no, that is actually a gold, a gold pin with a real pearl. And this one, the shield shape. This is silver, and it actually needs a clean. But no, this is actually a silver one. So, those are a few of my hat pin collection. Um, from those, I, I decided a few years ago to, to have a go at making them myself, and I, I found one that I'd made the other day, which was this one. Um, again, this is just, it's just a pearl with a faceted glass crystal bead, a small glass bead, and then I used to use earring stoppers and glue the whole thing together with the stop on the end basically to stop you stabbing yourself um, 
so that was one that I made probably seven or eight years ago now and that was after I'd started picking up the the vintage ones I just thought I'd have a go at putting one together myself I keep the longer ones in this which is actually um, an ebony hat pin holder so you just unscrew there's a few of the ends in there um, the stoppers so I just store the longer ones in this it's actually getting quite full now so I'll probably have to dig out one of my pin cushions and start keeping them in one of those um, so that's my vintage hat pin collection um, I will come back and just do a, a small demonstration on how I put my stick pins together. Right, um, these are a few of the blank pins that I have. I've got the teardrop shaped longer pins, um, there's some teardrop smaller ones, some hearts, some plain pearl end, I've got those in three sizes, I have some acrylic crystal small, again acrylic crystal larger ones, and some lilac ones. So that's just, just a, a small box of, of ones that I keep to hand. I've got more, a lot more. Uh, for those of you who have seen my pins, I'm going to show you how I put these ones together. Basically, I tend to dig a box of beads out and then just decide on, on some designs by putting them together and, and sticking the ones that I like into one of these, which is a magic sponge. And you get them in the pound shop. And it just makes it easier. You just, you just make them up ready for, for gluing. When I glue them, I put a stopper on the end, so I'm not forever picking up the beads. Um, this is a car mat. If you drop the beads, they don't roll away. And then, basically, it's just a case of grabbing the glue gun, putting the tiniest, tiniest dot on the pin and twisting the bead up onto it until it sticks. And again, just a small dot on the end of the bead and twisting the bead into it so it sticks. So basically the glue goes into the hole of the bead um, and also make sure that it, it covers the hole of the inside of any findings or caps or anything that you use on it so with the smaller beads again just a very small dot of glue on and then I twist the bead up and onto it with any little strands you just pull them off and that will hold it fast um, again this is a very small crystal so tiniest bit of glue and twist the bead onto it, pull off any excess, a bit too much that time, but pull off any excess, now I'm covered in it, and then again this is an even smaller bead on the end, 
tiny, tiny. Dot the bow, twist the bead up onto it. Just get rid of that. And it would make a mess of it. I do apologise. I do try not to to get any excess glue on the beads. Ah, had to happen. Um. And basically, that's how they end up. So then I take the stopper off. Just stand it in the magic sponge. Get the next one ready. Put the stopper onto the end. And go again. basically how I do it. So six of these ones are a little bit messy but I do apologise for that but that's that's basically how I do it. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please be kind and maybe I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.